Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy and today our expert trainer will be discussing about what is AWS Data Sync. So watch the video till the end. Okay, now there are many other features related to storages which are there out of which data sync. Now for the purpose of migration, if you want to migrate large amount of data from on-premise servers or from other cloud service providers like from Azure or GCP or Salesforce from any such other cloud service providers. If you want to move the large amount of data to AWS. So it could be used or it could be transferred with the help of any of the protocols. These are basically the protocols. NFS, SMB, it is into HDFS. If you want to do the migration, then you need agent to transfer this data in a normal scenario when we are using data sync. Okay. If you want to migrate the data from one AWS server to another AWS server into a different storage service, then no agent is needed. So this data sync service basically works on agents. If the data is required to be transferred from on premise or from other cloud service providers to AWS, then you will be putting an agent on the storage of the on-prem server and this agent will establish a connectivity to the cloud of AWS and then securely in an encrypted and compressed manner your data will be migrated to the cloud from your on-premise or other cloud service provider. When you are migrating you can move the data to the S3 bucket you can move the data into EFS, Elastic File System, or you can move the data into FSX. And then FSX can be of any type. It could be a FSX for Windows, FSX for Lustre, FSX for NetApp on tap, FSX for OpenZFS. Any type of FSX is supported. So you can bring the data into any of these services. And you can schedule the sync timing it could be hourly daily or on it can be on weekly basis so what will happen one agent will use 10 gbps of the bandwidth for completing this replication task so now you see over here in this diagram it explains it very well that you have a data sync agent sitting on your NFS or on your SMB server. So it is nothing but your file server. Okay. So if there is an file server from where the data is required to be migrated to the cloud, then this agent, which is nothing but a AWS no cone with a agent pre installed on it, will be connected into your network. There will be a file transfers happening over NFS or SMB between this snow cone and AWS data sync service over encrypted channel of TLS and the data can be migrated into S3 bucket. It can be either kept into standard intelligent tiering in frequent access one zone any type of S3 storage or it can be even transferred to EFS and FSX. So this is how your data sync feature works. This is basically used either for data mirroring or for data migration purpose. The data sync via the Lambda. Yes, of course, you can trigger the data sync to happen. If you are not scheduling the replication task on hourly, daily or weekly basis, then you can set it up a trigger based data replication also. Yes, that is also possible. Data sync when it is happening between on prem to cloud. And this diagram explains cloud 
to cloud so it is migrating from s3 to efs or efs to fsx or fsx to s3 if you are changing your storage type then also the data sync can help you but in that case you don't need a agent this can directly select the source and the destination and the replication can be started so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you missed upon any concept or if you want to dive deeper into the concepts then we have something really special for you we have our free class on Amazon AWS Solution Architect Certification for Beginners. Under this free class, you'll be learning about why and who should learn AWS, cloud services, deployment models, and AWS services as well. And the most important part is you'll be getting hands-on labs, job opportunities, along with Docker and Kubernetes in AWS, and amazing, amazing stuff. So if you want to register for this free class, all you have to do is just log on to your browser and type k21academy.com forward slash AWS SA02. And after that, you'll be seeing this kind of interface. You just have to click on book your free seat now, select your event date, add your name, your email address, your phone number, and click on yes, save my seat. And after that, you'll be seeing this kind of page. You just have to save this link on the extreme right, add it to your calendars, and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, keep learning.